Congratulations. Thank you. I am a couple hours post birth having my first meal. We've got French toast, some sausage, and cantaloupe. Baby boy is doing amazing. He's here. I look a crazy hot mess. I'm rather swollen from the fluids they gave me. She had to put like a thing to like compress it for it to go even faster. So my body's just very, very swollen. Um, baby boy is here. He's healthy, I'm healthy. We're both doing really good. The only like real symptom that I've had since having him is like my body itched so badly like I could not stop like just itching my back like this and my chest and my belly and I was told it's just from the epidural wearing off aside from that like I didn't tear I have very minimal bleeding I am in the recovery room now I desperately wish that cameras could do justice of how teeny tiny my babies always are he is six pounds, 13 ounces, and 19 inches long. And we still can't decide. Like, I see so much of Bennett, but I see so much of Halston also. I can't decide who he looks like. He definitely has, like, my nose. So I think he's just like all of our, all of our babies where, oh my gosh, where they are me from the nose down. All my kids have the same nose, I'm telling you. Him is just so tiny though, like, you look at him compared to my thigh. My feet are so incredibly swollen, and it's so weird for me to see. I've never had to like deal with swelling, minus like labor and delivery process. Even my hands feel like sausages. I feel like they look kind of normal on camera, but it's even hard to squeeze. They still have my Pitocin going. I guess they do that for like four-ish hours after you deliver. Penny just brought me a coffee. I'm so excited about this. I realized I haven't had coffee today because I could only have ice chips and water. Bennett is coming to hang out with us at the hospital for a little bit. He's having a really hard time and just really homesick. Have you guys have ever slept with mascara on? Like, I don't know about you, but my eyes always hurt so bad. It's like between crying through contractions or just being scared of like things like the epidural. Um, yeah, my eyes really hurt. So I might wash my face, just do some moisturizer. I don't know that I'll do any makeup. You can come over here, honey. We just gotta wash your hands. You Hi. 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 That is baby brother. Yeah. <laughs> you look back in the way. Do you want to wash your hands and you can come up here? Yeah. Okay, go over my dad. Oh, careful. Oh, still looks so big. Oh. This looks right there, loves. Just put your hand. Reach. You can come over here. There you go. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Good job. Can you wash your hands? <laughs> some salt? Hi. Do you wanna, you can come sit up on the bed, honey. You can sit up here. Yeah, okay, you don't have to. Okay, that's fine. I don't think he's not in my belly anymore. Yeah, they hope to get him out of my belly. Hi! <laughs> oh, he doesn't even hesitate. Oh. Thank you. 
Detector <laughs> hosting. Oh, his arm. This is so sad. So sweet. You love it. Yeah. My belly. What's happening? Who picked you up? Good job. And his head. And his cheeks. His arm. It's officially been twenty four hours since baby boy's been born. I think we officially have his name figured out. We were so set on one and then he was born and we're like, mm, we don't know if that suits him. So now it's a toss between this and this. And Bennett stayed with us last night just from being homesick. He did so good and like he was so happy to wake up to us and he came and snuggled with me. Kenny just left to go pick up the other boys from my sister. Her son isn't feeling well, and so we're like, okay, we should probably go pick up our boys. We're hoping it to be discharged tonight. Baby boys at pediatrician came in and said that even though I was GBS positive and we're technically supposed to stay 48 hours, that more than likely he would try to discharge us tonight. I also still have to wait for confirmation from my OB, so waiting on that. I'm so ready to go home. Like, we slept so bad last night like between the nurse coming in and out they did like lab work and then the baby didn't want to sleep unless he was like being held and this bed is so uncomfortable so it just was a rough night which i feel like it's always that way in the hospital still waiting to get my iv out that's kind of annoying and then over here i have all my blood work stuff I just asked for some nipple cream. Breastfeeding has been going really well. Thankfully, I've never had an issue with any of my boys. I was not expecting like a full size mother love nipple cream nonetheless. I thought it was just gonna be like a cheap little Lansano sample, so that's amazing. It's been going really well. It's just like kind of painful, and I think it's just like the newness of it. Like he has a really good latch. They just took him to do his like 24 hour newborn checkup, so I'm going to like brush my teeth and wash my face, maybe do something with my hair. And just get a little refresh for the day before the other boys get here. Despite not needing stitches or anything, I am still using all of the postpartum items just to keep things from hurting. A lot of people suggested to bring like our own towels, but theirs are actually really nice. They're like nice and thick. I feel so much better. I have already had a shower. I showered yesterday. I probably should shower again today. But that was the first time I've been able to wash my face. So that felt super good. I just threw on moisturizer. I'm not doing makeup or anything. I wanted to do like a slicked back bun, but I can only find one of my hair ties. I feel like it might have fell out somewhere, but again, that's okay. Like I'm literally sitting in the hospital. It feels so good to like get out of the hospital bed. But I'm also having a lot of that like after delivery pain. I don't even know if there's like an actual word for it, but just like the cramping and look at who's here. Make sure you wash your hands before you touch him. There's a sink there or in the bathroom, whichever. That's fine, whichever. The light switch is on the right if you need it. Mr. Halls, I miss you. TT said you didn't want to leave. Is that baby brother? 
Hey, the baby. Upset. Is there any soap in there? Yes, yeah, so, the huh? yeah, it's, it's the automatic uh, one. I think we're gonna name him Beckham. Beckham? Beckham. Um, Bex for short. <laughs> Baby or, Bex. Or what? It sounds like Rex almost. It's gonna sound like Rex. Now let you decide how much you want in there. Okay. Hey, baby. Baby brother. This little guy is back from testing and said that he did so good and passed everything. Uh. I wasn't very comfortable when I was it. Did you want to come try to hold him? He's not heavy. No, he's not heavy at all. Remember you used to hold Halston John on this arm or this arm? Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Can you see your picture? Cheese! Pause. What do you think? Here. I like it. You gotta press this button. Hold on. <laughs> and look. You gotta look through it. And push the button. I'm gonna be it's this one. Okay, I can take him. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're gonna slip and crack your head open, dude. It is tiny, isn't it? Mm. Oh, I love how you just like pulled that out of your back pocket. It's because I pulled it in, <laughs> for the in pizza. Back pocket when pizza showed up. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's just like such a dad move. You're getting more dad, more dad like. I'm telling you, I just need the New Balance shoes. Mm -hmm with the grass stains, and then I need a pocket knife that has a little holder that I can put on my belt. You got it. Come here, can I see the diaper? Can we get him ready to take him home? Home. Home. Snack his clothes from you. Hi, bud. Can you break it? Uh, so last time I saw you guys were playing and Oh, it's just a 